channel welcome to vlogmas day two i'm literally editing vlogmas day two right now and it's really personal and it's really choppy and it's definitely like it's crazy because you don't notice it you feel it internally but you don't notice it until you like record something but you can tell that the sunday scaries were fucking kicking in in this video like it just and it was so gloomy as well like it does not help that it's gloomy and a sunday like it's hard to think about like it's hard to be like happy low-key and like all chipper when you know it's gonna be monday the next day but since this is like just such a realistic type of vlogging because it's like every day i basically like went and did like my ritual which i tried to do on the weekends it just happened to be a sunday where I go and discover a new cafe. This is like one of my faves. I barely talk in this vlog, but I did my hair oiling routine and I do have alopecia and I'm able to keep it at a minimum and I'm able to have like my hair still grow. So keep watching for the hair oiling. And then um, I show you the book that I'm reading now, but it's kind of like, just think of it as literally that I'm vlogging like you're on my private story because it literally is that like my whole day is presented to you and just ignore my sunday scaries attitude but i genuinely did have a good day as much as it was like gloomy and just like cold and but yeah so enjoy the video i'm making an intro because i did not make an intro when i was doing day two but thank you for watching Beautiful. Like this is what I would make with the We need to make discovering cafes our thing. I'm literally eyeing that gelato thing. to that most amazing cafe that i'm probably gonna have like a fixation on for like two weeks until i get tired of it and then now we're gonna go to five below yeah we need to get some stuff every time i go into five below i just want to get everything for instagram and tiktok for me to edit maybe tomorrow me oiling my hair and because vlogmas is an everyday thing and i am just your regular schmegler girl who doesn't have like exciting things going on in my life at all times i am gonna show you guys what i just did which i should have just recorded my process regardless so i was diagnosed with alopecia a few years ago um it's like my hair grows, don't get me wrong, but like it's a really big thinning at my scalp, which kind of like looks like she's getting bald. So I, wait, let me show you guys the oils. This is what I use on my scalp. I found, um, I found this right when I found out about my alopecia issue, my thinning of my hair issue back in i want to say 2020 um and what i do is sh both of these are so dusty i should be using them more often but i don't use them as often as i should and i shot that video and i just didn't care to clean them gross but um this is with let's see i'm i'm sure it's there's rosemary in here but there's a bunch of other things so I pretty much, obviously I already put it on, but like, you see, hold on. This wasn't there before. This is becoming like, oh, I think at this point this is a bald spot. I stopped doing this, but I shouldn't have. But I'll just go like this into sections, right? Just like literally, even don't forget about the back either. But like I'll just go into sections doing this, go into the straight, right? Go onto the other side. 
I feel like my left side is like balding worse than my right side. But um, yeah, so like I'll do that. And then this is the... Then I go like this and I rub it in my scalp and I try to keep it there in long. Like at least an hour. This says, so then this is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I also got this at the time and as you can see like I don't use this for my scalp I occasionally I do but I really like this one even better and um, it's just the custom testimonials and like the change I've seen in my own hair from that I just don't want to let go of that even though this is a way more affordable option but um I'll just grab this one and I'll literally like if you guys want to go on my Instagram and TikTok um, I have a, I'm obviously gonna have the video up by because I'm going to put it up by tomorrow. So for Vlogmas Day 2. It'll definitely be up there if you want to go on my Instagram and TikTok. To go check out the like real process and how I do it real time. So like I just go and put this all over my like hair and ends. This one you can leave on for 10 minutes and you're good to go. And this is pretty much what I do one to two times a week. But like I said I have not been as good as doing it consistently. So I really really want to start doing it consistently again. And... You know, like, yeah, this side is not doing too well. She never does too well. But, yeah. That's my process of oiling my hair. I've been oiling my hair for a few years. I don't do it every wash recently, which I could tell I haven't been. Um, not that it doesn't grow out this way, but it doesn't grow in those problem areas of me balding. But yeah, so I just wanted to share you guys my oiling and hair routine because I know some people um, have just found out about hair oiling and there's others who don't know what to get and what products are really going to work because I've tried plenty, like I think, and they're expensive too. Um, the one I tried right before trying these was Vegamore. It is not sustainable, like the price long term. And then I also like saw so many mixed reviews about it, so I... I'd rather, um, like, get back to, like, small businesses. I'm not sure if Miel was, is a small business anymore, but I know that it was. And then Gola Beauty is by this one girl who had the same issues as me. So, I feel like I'd rather get back to people who have the same issues and it's not just, like, some big company or corporation. And let's grow our hairs together because we're all having problems with the scalp area right before i need to get my hair gets very oily right before i have to wash my hair and it also looks like this it's just not very cute but i'm gonna wash my hair and do it for the week so that i don't have to touch it and i'm the type of girl i'm very like keeping up maintenance with my face and i don't like to do my hair every single day but yeah that's the routine and i don't know if i'm gonna do anything else today this is gonna be really hard to film something every single day when you're not at the point where you want to be at in life because I feel like I'd be obviously doing more exciting things with that like while being a full-time content creator and actually established but yeah but thanks for watching anyways see you guys later below i got the four agreements and i haven't been reading like i used to read i would at least read like once a month which is actually not even that good because i used to read even more but now i'm gonna read and i heard the four agreements surprisingly was five dollars i don't know what the real price is it might be that low i don't know anymore but i heard that when you read it it's different every time you read it because of your perspective of life like everything is just perspective so I'm going to start reading this just because it's a fairly short book. Uh, let me see when it really ends. 138 pages. So I used to be able to read that in maybe obviously like a day. Because I would read so fast. But I'm just going to read and then I'm going to go to bed. Instead of scrolling on my phone. <laughs>